So, uh, who's gonna take all this back to my horde? Uh, I guess whoever I guess whoever clears the fewest levels does save, please. And let's go. So that would be you. One grand world left. You can do it. Two grand worlds left, actually. What? I thought Crim Croc. Crim Croc Injuries is the second to last world of the game. Yeah, but I thought the last world of the game is just a single level. Yeah, I was about to say. No. Oh, there's. An You're forgetting about Chip Caverns, my friend. <laughs> It'll be okay, pat and be pat. <laughs> It'll all be over soon, Diddy. I, I, I genuinely... There are times... It's around this part where I'm like, man, I forgot how... Just unforgiving the game can be. Well, yeah. again, this is literally like a, the, the step above Mario. Ow! Yes. Oops. What would you say was the hardest game in the trilogy overall? Uh, two could be pretty hard. Um, I kind of want to say three is, just because... Well, that just because that game's... Well, that game's far more complicated with some of its graphical detail, and it's sometimes that can be very distracting. Not okay. to mention some of the gimmicks it also has that are a little on the iffy side. Like, I think you were there. I mean, you. Got, I mean, you were there when we did our really old game uh, Game Boy Advance uh, port of DKC3 commentary mm -hmm. thingy, where one of the levels was literally purple toxic that literally slowed down your entire movement. I remember that. And then there was another. I think there was also either that same one or another one that had like lesser gravity. Uh huh. Just stuff like that. Like, three in general can be a pretty tricky time if you don't know what you're doing. It definitely tosses some curveballs with the design. There we go, okay. Uh, what about uh, your thoughts on the Mara Logan? Which one of the trilogy would you say is the hardest? I could I, see... I meant to roll into him. I know. I rolled. I could see two being the hardest, especially by the end point. Especially when you're trying to go for the secret ending with all of the, uh... With all, going for all the Krem coins. Uh, yeah. Or Krem, or Krem, you know, the Krem, you know, the big Krem medallion thingies. Hang on a second. Look at that really? look in his eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's not happy that, he, that that there is another monkey in the, in the business. Look at him. He's contemplating something with that puff cloud of Australia. <laughs> he contemplated taking a bath, but then he was like, eh, okay, no. And I'm back. Sorry, I just had to answer the door and d just let just let somebody know I had I was missing something for them. And oh gosh, you can go you can throw in the other direction oh. now. Well then, run you, you big little potato. Oh god, potato. No. You know what? Since I'm gonna is call you. A potato. I'm the potato here. The, no, no, no. You know what? From now on, you'll be known as Potato Kong. I don't like that thing, BK. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be well, like Cranky's like. You know, youngster, uh, that potato's pretty high in calories. You know, something that's good for burning calories? Uh, well, like what? <laughs> what was that supposed to be? DK get, breaking into a tight sweat? Okay, come on. Uh, yeah. No. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Yeah, for those, you need to run. And, and, and Funky Kong's like, oh, and it was, oh boy. You know, if you had that, but you were, if you were gonna be stressing over on that badly, you could have switched to me. What I was trying you to do, that, what, okay, what I was trying to do is, is like the issue about running is that I don't know how to run without pressing the Y button, which immediately makes me do a roll. You know, well, that's kind of the point. You have, to, you have to take that into account. Darn. You know, I'm gonna admit, um, that one death you had was very awkward for everybody. For there you go. Well, there we go. All right, now it's time. Body slam! Okay. Okay. Uh, no. The Mankeys have come to play. I don't like them. They don't play nice. It's them River Bottom boys again. <laughs> they don't play nice. They don't even smell nice either. And I'm in run mode. And you know, it's a good thing they never went with their original draft where they were flinging their own feces as opposed to barrels. Oh, God. That was what they were going to do? <laughs> No, I'm just teasing. Jeez. Um, that is... I, I don't... I am grateful that they have never followed up on that characteristic in any of the DK games. Yeah, because that is a real thing about about gorillas. They do throw... Or monkeys in general. They throw their own feces. Well, no, that... Yeah, I mean, that's just... I... Be -doo -be -doo -be -doo -be -doo. I mean, they don't know any better. They don't even dress... They don't even dress themselves. Oh. Exactly. They they have to have Japanese people dress them for them. I, th I mean, that is the funny thing about the whole development is that DK didn't get his time until Miyamoto sent them that fax of the uh, of the, the DK94 design. Right. Actually, I, I'm hey, half. Guys, I'll be right back. No worries. Okay. 
I was about to say, I I'm half right. It took the Japanese to dress up DK. It took the British to dress up Diddy. I... yeah. Something like that. I hate this part. This is a little too... Okay, wait. It's gonna do the trick barrel again. One, two, a three. Three. Okay. Keep an eye for barrels. Okay, dude. You're good. No barrels. Let me out of here! I just had to... I, you, do you know this, this game has proven it is not above hiding something at the very end? True. Very true. Okay, what are we at now? Oh, gosh. Okay, time to run. Uh, more like ride. Oh no, this is, okay, we're not the fuel one just yet, but the fuel one I hate. The fuel one can be a little tricky, yes. Oh, DK. Okay, he's safe. Cool. Uh, bu bu bu. The only thing I don't like about these kinds of levels is that you can't immediately switch to the other cogs while you're riding these things. Oh, uh, you some know Some sort of what? AI manipulation that kind of comes into effect. It mu yeah, it must I have something to do with the fact that you're, like, moving or something. Go ahead, hi. I just remembered the gimmick we're going to get to eventually. That's what I was level. talking about, and I'm not going to like when we get to that part. Yeah, sorry, oh. sorry, if I didn't, sorry if I didn't hear you immediately. I was just responding to a friend. You're fine. Okay, the checkpoint's got to be coming Oop. up soon. Oh, oh, die. Keep your nuts to yourself. Oh, Rude no. Little and the parents show up and they're like, what did you say? Why'd you say to our son? Uh-oh, and now his son's coming back for revenge. Whoop -doo. Where's the checkpoint barrel? Yeah, there should be one. They, oh, oh, fucking oh. nuts to you too. Yeah, I don't. I, so yeah, I think, I, you, I, you yeah. can't do the. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you can't. You do have to jump. Yeah, they won't let you just hop on it. Oh boy. What is this is level called again? It is something called, something track. Trick track track. It, it is it is called who and cares. Because I have an idea. Don't tell me. You're trying you're gonna use one of the warp barrels. I wanna see if I can do this. <sighs> Go for it. I mean I'll see why not. Ha! Oh, you got it. I found it. Oh gosh. <laughs> but I beat the level! I am so square! I'm sorry, that level in particular trust me, we'll get to a much more interesting one in the next bit. <laughs> well, okay. There you have it. Now let's take the elevator. Sorry, just out of all the and it's also to make up for lost time. Fair enough. Fair enough. And I had to leash up one. And I'm and at least I wasn't. Okay, but that'll be that. That's our. I also think looking. Okay, there is apparently one other warp in vulture culture, but let's see if we can get past that. But otherwise, yeah, that'll be our everybody gets one moment of the. Didn't we already do vulture culture? Oh, then yeah. Then that said, yes, that was our everybody gets one per playthrough because I hate that station. It's long. Ugh, fair enough. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised you get you get you lose your shit over that level, not so much the platform peril one. That ow! Oops. Ooh, dead shot, and that yeah, he's gonna. <laughs> I love the. I I don't know why I got the image in my head that the crow was shooting the coconuts directly through DK's head because it's just hollow and there ain't nothing in it. I mean, if you look at DK's head in a certain way, it does kind of look like it's shaped like a coconut. It. I think yeah. that. Oh, that's. Oh my God, that's why he has the tuft of hair. I guess. Yeah, I suppose. I just figured it, I just figured it was supposed to be like an ice cream top. I thought I'm it was back. just supposed to be a fascist thing. Welcome back. You just missed Logan cheating. Not uh. cheating. It was clearly in the game. If the developers did it so that they could test the game faster, I can't be blamed for using it. Uh oh. I gotta get going soon, but I'll be here for another minute or two. No worries. No worries. Well, well hope, uh, hopefully you at least enjoyed what little idiocy from these two you saw. Shush. <laughs> I was gonna say, how long were you planning on recording this? We're trying to beat uh, the game. Yeah, we already did the first half, and since we technically started early, we figured, eh, we probably could get away with doing it. All you're gonna find down there is a DK barrel. And snake, and snake yeah, barrel. Yeah, we've been recording for 40 minutes now, so... No, no, it's, yeah. it's, it's gonna be like Odyssey, where, like, you know, we had to, like, do them in different sessions and stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, these are these are beef, beef for recordings. Hmm. No, okay, no, 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 so... No, no. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. All right. See you, Bye. Okay. Okay. Don't forget, now... don't forget to send the audio to James, by the way. Okay. And that now that that's been taken care of, i got to be careful. Whoop. And that's the last words Diddy ever said. As a, as a coconut went square up his bum. There's the... Ch Jesus, this level There you are. 
By the way, look at this majestic creature and the fact it's sporting a pair of nipples. Yeah. yeah. Up two, three, four, up two, three, four. The DK's like, that's not fair, my, from that's the not fair. I clearly had, I'm the one who gets the nipples around here, sir. I'm the one that wears nipples in this franchise. <laughs> then Wario's like, and Mario and Mario and Eggman are just like, mm. <laughs> Die. Wait a minute, since I'm the main character, why don't I have nipples? D because... <laughs> So, we talked about this song. The fandom already gave that two years ago. It's just not special anymore if we do it. What about me? I mean, I'm the last of my kind. They called you. They changed your name to that as a joke. And for anybody wondering, yes, this bit did get old about 30 seconds ago. So we're gonna do more of the elevator stuff. Oh gosh. Excuse me for trying to find <laughs> some semblance of fun, since it looks like we're not gonna make it out anytime soon. We're stuck in this cave. Oh gosh. Oh. You're freaking me Ow! out, James! Oh. Stop it! Stop it, Gabe, you're scaring me! Thank you. Just gonna save you a little bit of trouble, because this part's kinda BS. Well, let's find out, and if so, then maybe I won't need it after all. We oh. cheated once, we'll oh. cheat again! The system lets me do this. <laughs> the system lets me do this. <laughs> This is suddenly turning into that one episode of the Fairly Odd Parents where they both had the rewind watch. Yeah, and I was just also thinking of the, I think I'll try. I think I'll have it now. Arr. Well, that's yeah. Uh, that's my favorite. I think I'll principle. have one now. Oh, no, I'm just thinking of stuff. Like oh. Oh my gosh, we will get to okay. So to talk this out, since I need something to talk about while I do the saving stuff, so. I'm going to be doing the PC version of the game because uh, about for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated because it seems like that will be the most stable. Here we go. Oh, Logan, welcome to the Poison Pond. Because I think because it seems like that will be a good stable like way to play it. Except one meanwhile, issue I've been. While you're... Go ahead. Sorry, just meanwhile as you're going through this level, if you look very closely, you can see the fur, skin, and bone marrow decomposing off the Kongs. Yeah, this is not a good place for us to be. And Diddy's growing a third eye on his on his forehead. Okay, I guess this is just a track. There we go. <gasps> this was been a lie. A facade. Yeah. It, well, to be fair, you could grab it. You just gotta meet, make an immediate bolt right for the right. Yeah, okay, so anyway, so it's... And also be careful of the minsters, because now they're gonna be laced everywhere. Right. There there are new croctopus. But yeah, so there's just a number of stability issues. One of the biggest complaints that the, that the community had was that the reversing your camera directions you know horizontal vertical i usually like to reverse them when ow nuts i usually like reversing them when i'm playing something like ratchet and clank for instance but um they actually the, the control settings were actually borked and rehydrated so that whenever you hopped on the bus stop and swapped to sandy or patrick or whatever um it would automatic it would automatically just uh oh really just for but gosh <laughs> Well, this was this was during a time when collect when secret collectible secrets were a little more simple by me by comparison. Yeah, just head right. So what was it? Um, they had it borked where whenever you took the bus stop, it would suddenly re it would suddenly re reverse your controls back to normal just by taking the bus because I guess each character, the uh, the settings that you the settings that you uh, change for the uh, characters the camera controls is linked to that char character so when you swap it it would suddenly reset back to default so you, if you looked up playthrough footage at the time you would see people having to constantly even in the middle of a boss battle when you swap characters having to constantly re-pause and reconfigure their camera controls but they just now re they just now about a couple week about a week and a half ago or so uh, patched the PC version to fix that um, the only thing I'm waiting for now is uh, there was like some stability there was like something there was some other like big thingy that people were asking for oh I was also waiting to see if one of two things will happen one uh, the developers will tell Mr. Krabs to loosen up on the prices of his of his uh, of his golden yeah that is that is one of the more because there we go. of his golden spatula scheme because yeah, it say, has that's... suddenly multiplied to nearly literally over three times as much money you're going to be spending on them. Ah, oh, I thought... I mean, granted, I mean, granted, it's perfectly in character, but makes 100%ing get a lot more obnoxious. So, either... I'm either waiting for him to tone down the prices, aka the developers, because I still don't understand what their logic was behind it. Nice one. 
uh, or B, I'm going to keep an eye on and see if the community at any point in time realizes, oh, here's the debug menu, or oh, hey, I'll probably just use Cheat Engine to give myself as many shiny things as I can and hope to God it works. Because I'm not gonna grind out and... Part of me did want to try and go for 100%, not, not with everything, but like just because some of the dialogue attached to even some of the minor... Whoa. <gasps> to some of the minor spatulas is still pretty fun. <laughs> just, was so, that was a little, a little gut reaction from... That was that your yeah. was that oh that wasn't played up that was a genuine squeak that was a genuine. <laughs> it's because I was so close to getting minced by that mincer. Oh gosh, the <laughs> deep poor DK. As demonstrated. And then little buddy, I think oh. I think I'm about I think my coconuts are about to get crunched. Ah! I'm oh. gonna go back and get the barrel for luck. And then oh sweet coconut cream pie, I'm back. Wow. And then, the, I also don't like this level because the piranhas can blend in very easily with this pa color palette. Real talk, do you think that whole coconut cream co pie, pie quote was, was, was a legitimate, you know, in-joke? I have no idea, and frankly, given the nature of- Oh wow, that one just speeds out like a demon, just, just, just run, ride those invincibility frames. Oh yeah, th this part fucking sucks because the bite size <laughs> here- are literally in, it's a literal school of them, and some of them just go literally speed racer sort of fast. We didn't even have the K, it's okay, just, oh. Okay. Oh, they're doing this with the mincers now? Yes. Okay, keep an eye on the right, and. Oh, we're on for Oh! Yeah. Sweet relief. Oh. Out of that toxic Kool Aid. Cranky's not gonna do anything nice. Cranky, for us. you got the ointment on you. Cranky's not gonna. More freeloaders. Well, I ain't got nothing for you, so scram. All right, let's leave. He well, doesn't want us. Sometimes our sprites used to change okay, size. Now, now for he's no just repeating reason. stuff. <laughs> meanwhile, I. <laughs> meanwhile, oh, meanwhile, I was gonna say I know it's on the right there. Rambi's like. Yeah, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't get to me against the wheel. No, it's a man. It's a fun. I'm about to of Rambi. So help him. Oh gosh, okay. Free, free me, because I'm, you know, I'm Rambi. Oh, the other minecart level. I almost forgot about this. This one is hopefully fun. It's different, I'll give it that much, because despite the fact you're still in the minecart, they play it a bit differently in the fact that you don't jump with your minecart. Oh, okay, so this is, okay, so returns, okay, so I thought, it re for some reason I thought it started with returns. I, I, I've i been out of this game longer than I thought. Careful. Oh, oh no, with, with, with returns, returns made it a little more, you know, they made it a bit more sensible, the fact that whenever you're in those minecarts that you don't jump with, it's clearly not the same kind of minecart. Oh, yeah, because it's like, it's filled with bananas, so you're riding on top, you're standing on top of... I mistimed that. What's going to happen when I... <laughs> oh, she got Diddy! Okay. DK, I'm not gonna be able to sit for a week. I, I, yeah, I'm, I was just, I was like panicking. I, I didn't know if it was gonna still. Okay, we're good. <gasps> uh, <laughs> I thought that was gonna be another mic. I learned something there. new today. And he's still falling to this day. He still hasn't landed. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. And yes, I don't. I think we already talked about this. A part of me was considering doing like maybe even maybe a look at of like the first episode of Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People, just because I do still think that was an incredible little, like... Incredible oh, I, I really game. loved the game. I mean, with how much, how fun you, how much fun you guys tend to have with that whole series, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to you guys just doing the commentary on it. Did you, did you watch the, uh, oh boy, did you watch the, uh, any of the Homestar cartoons growing up, James? Uh, maybe once or twice, but otherwise, I not really know. I didn't follow that whole series. I need to watch the emails with hype again, because I know they're steadily uploading them to YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they're adding all the Easter eggs or not again. I don't know why I loved the fact that whole, that little, that crap, that crash baddie there was literally just s sitting pretty in there. And then all of a sudden, from ten feet, the fucking ape just falls down and crushes his force. Pounced oh. upon him. Alright, blackout basement. Oh boy. This is a, this one is a... Kurul forgot to pay the power bill. And you can't crank up the brightness on your screen. It is a straight up blackout. On top of that, the mooks go go dark along with along with the background. So you gotta guess that shit. Yep. Oh jeez. Rest assured, though, DK and Diddy are are pretty much as visible to the, are pretty much visible to the naked eye. Man, could you imagine if they actually if they made you guys black out as well? That would suck so much. But it would be accurate. It would be. 
Yeah, you know, Painful if back. this game were accurate, DK and Diddy would be throwing their throwing their feces we don't at the want crocodiles. That. You're right. We don't exactly. want that. Exactly. Wow, they gave you the checkpoint pretty early. Okay. This level. Oh, jeez. He just straight up appeared from the ether. <laughs> okay. Moving platforms and 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 <laughs> phasing out lights do not mix. Duly noted. Hype. Is any of this making you want to go back to this game? I feel like I probably do want to get back to it eventually. I just don't know. I already have, like, a lot I need to finish, first and foremost, so it'll probably be well. Also, sorry if I haven't really been reacting to, like, a bunch of stuff. I'm helping a friend look up some comics that he wants to do for his channel. Fair enough. But, I mean, honestly, honestly, I, I would just say, at least for one day, just dedicate your time to beating this game for in one go. Because, I mean... If you know what you're doing, it's really not that long at all. You can easily beat it in an afternoon. Oh, I know. Well, well, that's that's kind of the thing with a lot of games uh, around that area. Uh, but... Did he? I'm waiting for the cycle. Sorry. It's just an elevator, Diddy. Th it's Nothing ele to be afraid of. It's elevators in the dark. My my two least favorite things to see combined. Elevators in the dark and flowing beer bellies. And then that. Last time I saw an elevator, it had a knife at me. Oh. I know. I'm not. Uh, Care to share share me the rest of that story, old buddy? I'm not gonna like this part. It's it's Just too switch. dramatic. Besides, uh, besides, besides DK, you're a chicken kid. You won't be able to handle it. Says you, banana. That's your cue to express the aim. Flies okay. to the end of his day. You gotta be careful with your throat there. I wanna no. I wanted to like do re a revisal of that. It's like you're too much of a chicken kid. Says you. Is that a bog monster? I hear. Bog monster. <laughs> And then he runs. Also, I, I just now realized, holy crap, with the whole banana slamma thing, DK is the Captain Caveman of the Nintendo universe. Oh, gosh. Well, I, kind of, yeah. I don't know, just a shout out, I don't know. There's that. I mean, I'd also argue Scrappy-Doo, considering the fact that the whole... Da, 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 oh, that's Puppy their... power! Dude, that was a whole thing for cartoons back then, was shouting their grand... Oh, gosh. Even DK Jr., when he had that short-lived cartoon, did that. He had a DK... Oh, gosh. They had a DK oh, Jr. cartoon? He means in he means in the Supercade. Oh. Yeah, Stalking Up Jr. was part of the Saturday Supercade, and he was paired up with this not shaggy biker dude named Bones. And uh -huh. yeah, he did the whole it's a puppy power, he went all monkey muscle! Wow. And he was also voiced by Frank Welker. I was about yeah. to say, it sounded like the exact same uh oh. Okay, so this boss is just kill the mooks, dodge his attacks. Yeah, the, yeah. the Supercade was just something else. Like, I remember, like, Mario and Pauline were in it. Like, they made it so that, like, Pauline's actually his niece instead of his girlfriend. And they had Mario voiced by Peter Cullen. Huh. Yeah, that, that, that's really funny to look back on, considering what Peter's been doing since. Yeah. Wow, that's actually pretty I crazy. really want to know, like, just for the sake of gauging his rage, I want to know if Peter Cullen can do, like, a proper Mario voice now. Uh, probably not. He's old, I mean, but he's I mean, there. well, I mean, I'm sure he could do something. Like maybe I could see him doing Wario. Maybe not so much Mario, but I mean, actually, I could see him doing Bowser more. Oh, uh, nuts! So. The armadillo's got me. Okay, well, how about this? Mario and a Man. I did it! I beat the boss. I almost beat my first boss, and actually, that wow, that boss actually was not as hard as I remember it. 